After months of negotiations, union workers at C&D Technologies in Attica denied the company's offer to change workers' wages and insurance. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on the nearly unanimous vote. Union representatives in Attica had planned Saturday afternoon to call C&D Technologies Human Resources Department. The news they gave HR, the set of wages and insurance plans offered to employees at the Attica plant has been denied by union workers. Not only denied, but overwhelmingly denied with a 207 to 20 vote during a union meeting Saturday morning at the town's elementary school. The company's not budging on anything. This is what they want, and they said that's their final offer, and that's the way it's going to be, but it's unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. Many workers, like 13 year CND employee Scott Childers, say their main concern is the company's switch in insurance plans. And they're taking it down to one where we're paying uh, about $2,400 family deductible plus $8,000 if you end up getting hospitalized for anything, and just it's ridiculous. Right now, we have a copay and and we don't have a deductible, but the, what they're wanting to offer us is a deductible in uh, a family. It's almost unaffordable. The cafeteria at Attica Elementary School was filled with union workers. It took just under an hour to empty it completely out after denying the offer. Now workers wonder what Monday will bring. They hope to return to work as normal and continue negotiations, but they say if they're locked out, they'll strike. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that because you know, it hurt us too, but you know, in the same sense, I think they'll lose more business over that because they have government contracts, nuclear orders and stuff like that, and unqualified people can't and build those batteries. CND Technologies builds high power batteries. It has been in Attica since 1955. Its headquarters are in Pennsylvania with plants in Tennessee and Wisconsin also, as well as internationally in Canada, Mexico, and China. Reporting in Attica, Kelly Roberts, News 18. CND representatives could not be reached for comment today. News 18 will try again on Monday.